Hey everybody, this is my experimental tank and it is an experiment in whether or not we can get a deep substrate denitrification cycle going on. And so right now I've just got some mosquito fish in the tank. I collected them myself out of the local stream and they have been eating flake food just fine. But they are mosquito fish, so I figured feeding them some larvae here. Blood worms. I can't remember what kind of insect they're larvae from. Uh, it's not mosquitoes, but it's close enough. The mosquito fish love these things. So I figured we would do a quick feeding video showing the mosquito fish actually eating something more appropriate for them as opposed to the flake food. And I also wanted to take a moment to talk about what I really want to do with this tank, what my goal with this tank is. Uh, a lot of people keep suggesting that if I stratify or layer the substrate or if I put some plants in there, uh, I could get some denitrification going and so on and so forth. I understand that there are ways to get a denitrification cycle uh, going in the tank. What I'm trying to do is start with the very basics. I don't want layered substrates capped off with sand. I don't want a tank that's got lots of plants and stuff in it. What I want is a very, very simple basic tank with deep sand or deep gravel, you know, four or five inches deep and nothing else. It may grow some algae or some cyanobacteria or something like that. That's fine. That's normal functioning of a tank. I just don't want it to be a heavily planted tank where you could argue that the plants are having an impact on the substrate. I don't want it to be multiple layers of substrate that are capped off with this and planted with that. And I don't want the complicated aspect. I'm not trying to develop a sophisticated, advanced aquarium system here. I'm trying to find out, can you, with a very basic, simple aquarium system, set up a denitrification cycle? If we can or can't, we can move forward from there. Once we've decided what's going on with this, then we can start like putting some plants in there or we can start doing this or that and we can try some other things. Right now, I'm just trying to establish whether or not this denitrification cycle will establish in a very, very basic, simple setup. So I know I could add plants and I could add clay and I could put sand you know, cap it off with sand and so on and so forth, but that's not what I'm attempting to accomplish here. What I'm attempting to accomplish is just what you see. Very, very simple, basic setup, and we're going to try to find out whether or not we can establish a denitrification cycle from that. So that's about it. That's all I got tonight. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. Uh, don't forget, I do have memberships available now. And, of course, I always appreciate any super thanks I get. That always goes a long way to helping me out with all these experiments and stuff that I do and all the time I spend shooting all these videos. So I always appreciate that. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you real soon on the next one.